And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, I'm working on your financial freedom. And I want to say happy birthday to America. I know a lot of you are celebrating America's Independence Day. I know a lot of you have taken part of the week off. You probably took Monday and Tuesday out. Tuesday off for sure. It was a federal holiday. And, you know, it's Wednesday today, and it's possible that you're going to take the whole week off. And you know what? If you're going to do that, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoy not dealing with the burdens of having to go to work every day. If you're taking the week off, those burdens are stripped away, and hopefully you don't have a job where you have a leash. Some people call it a phone. Yeah, I call it a leash. It's, it's how your employer can get a hold of you 24-7 if they need you. Now, something substituted in my life for the leash. Yeah, something substituted for the leash in my life. I mean, I, I had, if I'm going to, come on, really? If you give up something, don't you want to take something up in its place, right? If you give up working, don't you want to take up relaxation in its place? There, I just proved my point to you, didn't I? Okay, so the point I want to make to you is that when I made the decision to start changing my life, and I did this in 2017, I became a member of Lifestyles Unlimited, and I went to work changing my life. I used the education that I received from Lifestyles Unlimited to build myself a five-year plan. And I went to work addressing that five-year plan. That five-year plan involved some real estate that I owned before I was a Lifestyles Unlimited member, and I, and I had done it all wrong. I'll flat out admit to you, on the air, in front of millions of people, I did it all wrong before I became a Lifestyles Unlimited member. And the reason for it is I didn't have the right experience. I didn't have the right experience base. I was taking my information from sources that were flawed. They were flawed. They didn't give me 100% of what I needed to have, and therefore I went into real estate investing with a flawed strategy. And my experience in real estate was not really that great. Now, I still knew in the back of my mind that real estate was going to be that catalyst that was going to get me ultimately retired. But I couldn't quite figure out, based on the experience that I had, how I was going to do it. Well, along comes Lifestyles Unlimited. I'm listening to the radio back in 2017. My son and I were on our way to church. We're catching the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show on the radio. Obviously, somebody else was doing the show at the time because I, I wasn't a part of the Lifestyles team. I wasn't even a part of the Lifestyles membership. I was just a guy listening to the radio, right? So I'm listening to this person talk about real estate, and this person is giving me a lot of factual information. This person is giving me legitimate data about the current marketplace. I think he was actually talking about San Antonio. And since I, I live outside of San Antonio, that information resonated with me. It wasn't generalized information. It was information that I could actually use. I could put two and two together. So my son and I, we made the decision. We'd go check out this Lifestyles Unlimited organization. Now we had checked out some other organizations and I just I just felt that those organizations were not a good fit for what I was trying to accomplish because what I was trying to accomplish was retirement. I really wanted to get it done. I had actually tried to retire myself in 2014, but I failed. I failed in retirement the first time because I thought I could live off of a pension that I earned only to find out that pension really didn't pay as much money as I thought it might have paid. And as a result of that, I had a giant sucking sound in my checking account and I had to go back into the workforce. So retirement effort number one, fail, big fail. So in 2017, you can understand why my mind is, is laser focused on wanting to retire. Besides that, I had found a job and I was working in that job and I was miserable. I was in cubicle hell. I was miserable. I had to find a way out. So Lifestyles Unlimited presented to me information that I could use. When, when my son Jonathan and I, we went to the free workshop, they explained to us the concept of changing your mindset. Nobody else had, had explained that concept to me before. So let me just give you a snapshot of what, what they talk about. They, they tell you you have a middle-class mindset, and you do, because everything that you've learned about how to get ahead in the world has come from middle-class sources. 
what you need to do is you need to start generating that information from millionaire sources. In other words, what they told me was I had to start working on changing my mindset from a middle class mindset to a millionaire's mindset. And it wasn't that hard to do. As a matter of fact, they, they laid out the whole plan for me as part of the, the information they were providing. And then they, they taught me about flipping and how flipping is not real estate investing. And, and, and they, they proved it. They said, look, the Internal Revenue Service identifies flippers as real estate dealers. They tax them completely differently than real estate investors. So flipping is not investing. It is very possible for you to have real estate experience. Very possible that you have it. I had it before I came to Lifestyles Unlimited. But here was my problem. All of my experience was bad experience. All of my experience was incorrect. It was ineffective. It did not do for me what it was intended to do. See, I thought that by buying real estate, it would make me wealthy. What I didn't understand is that you have to operate it correctly. See, I just thought you just put a property manager on the property and then they just handled everything for you and eventually they sent you checks. I didn't understand that you have to price your unit correctly. You have to get market data and stuff like that, determine what fair market value is, and then price your property correctly, market your property correctly, and then find a great resident to live in your property. And that resident would pay you one-third to what they make every month on the first of the month, and that would translate into positive cash flow for you. Okay, nobody taught me that. Nobody taught me that in the beginning. Before Lifestyles Unlimited, nobody taught me that fundamental concept. What I was taught was just go get some real estate, and it'll all work itself out. And if you have real estate, you're going to get depreciation, and that's going to help you in taxes. So what did I have? I had three duplexes that I owned, I had, I, had, I had them leveraged. I was smart enough to put a loan on them. But here was the problem. I had bought all of these duplexes using a no money down strategy. And I will tell you flat out, no money down is not a viable option for you as a real estate investor. And here's why. You tend to over leverage the property. And as a result of that, it can force you into something called negative cash flow. That's what I got to experience. I had negative cash flow. I was, I was paying literally $1,000 a month to maintain my properties, to operate my properties, to basically subsidizing rent, if you will, on my properties uh, so that other people could live in my properties. Yeah. And then when I became a member of Lifestyles Unlimited and I was able to tap into the experience of 34 years of what Lifestyles Unlimited is all about, not to mention all of the experience of the mentors and all the experience of all the 50,000 members, not to mention the fact that we got this guy we call the Dell. The Dell. He's the guy that founded all this stuff. Dell Walmsley is the founder and CEO of this organization, and he put this together 34 years ago. Now, 34 years ago, I never heard of it. I never heard. I was living in the West Coast. Yeah, Dell was operating the business basically in Houston, Texas. That's, that's where it was founded. So Lifestyles Unlimited was founded in Houston, Texas. I never had access to anything that Dell did. I never heard him on the radio. I never experienced anything that he did. I didn't come out to Texas to learn about real estate. I just took the advice from a bunch of inexperienced people telling me how to operate my properties. And then when I was losing money, it was, it was okay. Because everybody else was doing the same stinking thing. Yeah, everybody was investing based on the fact, well, real estate goes up in value. So you just got to hold the real estate. You just got to hang on. You just got you just got to you got to handle the bleeding every month. Handle the bleeding because eventually that property is going to go up in value. Well, eventually the properties did go up in value. They did eventually go up in value. But here was the problem. How many years did I did I endure a negative cash flow situation when all I really needed was the experience of Lifestyles Unlimited to show me how I should have been operating those properties. And what happened when I did what Lifestyles Unlimited taught me how to do? I started making $1,000 a month in passive income. Yeah, that's a $2,000 swing, folks. I'm talking about $2,000 of swing in the cash flow arena. So instead of me writing a check for $1,000 a month or paying out of my pocket $1,000 a month, $1,000 a month started coming into my pocket. It was a game changer. It was a game changer. And then I started looking at the assets and I started talking to my fellow members. I started talking to my mentor. What should I do with these assets? You know what they told me? They all told me the same thing. 
based on our experience, you've owned those assets for too long. And I, and I had. One asset I owned for almost 22 years. The other two I owned for almost 20 years. Yeah, I owned them for a long period of time. So what's the problem with that? Well, by owning them for a long period of time, I had built up a lot of debt equity in the properties. That was money that wasn't doing a thing for me financially, except sitting in a property, just sitting in a property. And the other problem that I had was that the properties, because I had depreciated them for like 20, 22 years, depending on the actual property, I had, I had taken a lot of depreciation on the asset. And as a result of that, I probably needed to dispose of the asset and, and deal with the taxes. Yeah, because when you when you sell a piece of real estate, you're subject to something called capital gains tax, and then you're subject to something called uh, depreciation recapture. And because I had paid out a lot, or I had taken a lot, I should say, in depreciation, I was concerned that that depreciation recapture might have, you know, harmed me. Harmed me. That's that's the word I'm looking for. And I wound up selling those properties. Now here's what I did. I took the advice from the experienced Lifestyles Unlimited members who said, Al, maybe you ought to do a 1031 exchange on this thing. That would allow you to get into a new asset. That would allow you to defer the taxes. That would allow you to buy the follow-on properties without having to carve any money out for the taxes. And here's the thing. When I did my estimation of how much I would probably have to pay for the taxes on those properties, I was going to give up literally 70% of the gain. 70% of the gain would have wound up going to Uncle Sam. And that was a bad strategy. So what did the experience of Lifestyles Unlimited members and mentors teach me? Don't do that. Don't do that. Get a 1031 accommodator, sell the properties, put them into the 1031 account, and then buy follow-on properties with it. So what did I do? I did exactly what I was told to do. I wound up buying follow-on properties. And here was the beautiful thing of these follow-on properties. They were in a completely different market than the original properties. They were in a market where there was incredible growth. As a matter of fact, we experienced a seller's market. So get this. I I exchanged three duplexes for three single-family houses. Okay, you, you follow me, right? I deferred all the taxes on it. So as a result of that, I haven't paid any taxes on those, those properties, but I bought three properties to replace them. Now I have sold two of those properties. And now get this, there was capital gains due on those properties, but because I'm also a multifamily investor, I received depreciation off the multifamily assets that eliminated the taxation. All this because I listened to the experience of my fellow members and my mentor. When we come back from the break, more on experience. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Want to continue the conversation inside the community? Follow Lifestyles Unlimited on Facebook. Stay up to date on upcoming events, market trends, member stories, featured podcasts, real estate wisdom, and more. You can even join us a couple times a month as we go live with our case study events right on Facebook from the comfort of your home. Get online and get in the know. Turn listening on the radio into participating in the community. Like and follow Lifestyles Unlimited on Facebook today. Creating the lifestyle you've always wanted. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the second half of the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, I'm working on your financial freedom. And I want to share with you something that maybe is not on the tip of your mind, but I think it's something you need to know. There will be some radical fortunes made in real estate investing in the next 12 to 24 months. I am here to tell you that there will be some fortunes made in real estate within the next one to two years. And if you are dialed in, if you have the right experience, you can take advantage of what the markets will offer you in the next year or two. Now, I don't really care whether or not the markets go way up 
or the markets go way down. At Lifestyles Unlimited, we know how to make money in up markets and we know how to make money in down markets. So we don't worry so much about the direction of the markets. What we worry about is how well we operate within those markets. That is where the experience comes from. Now, don't take it from me. Take it from the founder and CEO of Lifestyles Unlimited, Dell Wamsley. I had the opportunity to have a conversation with Dell uh, last week, and we were talking about this particular concept. We were talking about the concept of having experience versus not having experience. And he was very adamant. He was very adamant. And he said, look, with, with the knowledge base that we have across all of our members in Lifestyles Unlimited, we are a very, very powerful and effective organization. We have the ability to change the lives of our members. We have the ability to teach them everything that they need to know so that they can be successful as real estate investors. We can get them to a place of retirement in five years or less. And we can get them to start realizing things like the 401k, the IRA, or like in my case, a pension. Those things are failed retirement strategies. They are. They're failed retirement strategies. I'm a victim of a failed retirement strategy. I told you at the beginning of the show that in 2014, I tried to retire for the first time. I was leaving the United States Army. I was selected for retirement. I'm like, woohoo, I'm finally retired. Yay. So in my mind, I'm, I'm retired. But here was the problem. I was physically retired. I wasn't financially retired. No, I wasn't financially retired. Now, I get a pension. I still get that pension today. But that pension, even today, still only pays me one-third of what I used to make when I was on active duty way back 10 years ago. Okay? So my my strategy involved having to unretire myself and then go back into the workforce. And then I was going to just work until the age of 70 until I stumbled across Lifestyles Unlimited. And I started listening to the things that they say on the radio show, stuff that I tell you on this radio show. And... I took notice. I took notice and I went to a free workshop and it changed my life. It changed my life. Now, trust me, I went into that free workshop very skeptical. I was very skeptical. I'd already gone to several other organizations and I just felt like they were blowing smoke up my chimney. And the other problem that I had with a lot of these other organizations is I didn't see what I considered to be a deep bench. I didn't, cons I didn't see anything that I considered to be longevity. I didn't see anything that I considered to be experiential. Yeah. I didn't see where those organizations had been around for a while. And because they'd been around for a while, they probably had gone through, you know, the, the, the kicks and the grinds that occur when you're getting started up. Right. Okay. So in 2017, Lifestyles Unlimited is like in its 29th year. Okay. To me, that indicated stability. If they've been around for 29 years, and now we've been around for 34 years. Don't get me wrong. Even though I'm saying 29, remember, I'm going back like five or some odd years, okay? So the point I'm trying to make is 29 years, 34 years, I don't care. That's how much experience we have. Now, I think you need to be a part of an organization that will help you become a successful real estate investor. I'm going to suggest to you, you should be a part of Lifestyles Unlimited, but I also understand that Lifestyles Unlimited is not the only organization out there. There may be another organization that you feel is a better fit, but here's the thing I want you to ask when you go check out these other organizations. How long have they been doing this? What is the experience base? I mean, I, I, I can take, I can take Dell Wamsley experience and I can tell you that the guy's been retired for 34 years and he's spent the last 34 years teaching people like you and me how to retire ourselves. I paid attention to him. I did what he told me to do. I laid out a five-year plan just like he instructed me to do. And you know what I did? I crushed it. I got it done in two years. Now I'm not bragging. I am not bragging. You have to understand that I was desperate. I was desperate. I needed to get retired because I had the prize in my hand at one time and I lost it. It slipped away like that big trophy fish that you catch and you pull it out of the water and you're getting ready to take a picture and all of a sudden it wiggles and it jumps out of your hand and back in the water, no picture. Yeah, that's what it felt like. So I wanted it back. I got my line back in the water and I started working for it. Okay. So I got myself to a place of retirement in two years. 
this is a realistic possibility for you. Now, I'm not telling you that you can get retired in two years. I don't even know what your personal financial situation is. I don't even know what you do for a living. I, I, I don't know any of these things. And without that kind of information, I am I'm ill-equipped to advise you on any specific tactical plan that you should put together based on your strategy. But here's the good thing. At Lifestyles Unlimited, one of the things that we offer is dedicated mentoring. What does that mean? It means regardless of what you do, you need to have a mentor. You need to have somebody who, is, who has done exactly what you plan to do, who's been there, done that, gotten all the t-shirts, and they're willing to assist you avoid any mistakes that they made themselves because they're assisting you with getting the task accomplished that you've attempted to get accomplished. A mentor. Number one thing, you have to have a mentor. The other thing you need to have is you have to have education. And ironically, the mentor doesn't do you any good without the education. At Lifestyles Unlimited, we provide both of those things. Yeah. Did you know that Lifestyles Unlimited is a real estate investor education and mentoring company? Those are the two services we provide to our members. That's all we provide, and we do it extremely well. We help our members get to a place of retirement in five years or less. End of story, nothing more to say on that. And the other thing about Lifestyles Unlimited that you have to know is that there is an incredible experience base within the organization. It's not just the mentors. I mean, I, I could take I could take the experience of, of Del Wamsley and all of our mentors and I could just wrap them all together and it would be a, a very small, small amount of experience when you compare it to the vast amount of experience that exists within the Lifestyles Unlimited community. Experience, right? And it's not just my experience, it's, it's the experience of all of my fellow Lifestyles Unlimited members. Yeah, not to mention the Lifestyles Unlimited team, but primarily the members. I mean, over time, I have built a strong network of professionals in the real estate industry, including agents, brokers, contractors, property managers, and my fellow investors. Yeah, I'm describing to you my real estate team. And these connections have been instrumental in finding lucrative investment opportunities, assessing off-market deals, and getting reliable referrals for the various services that I need to have performed on my properties. By leveraging my network, and remember, leveraging is a very important concept in real estate investing. If you don't understand the, the concept of leverage, sign up for one of our free workshops. We actually talk to you about the concept of leverage. We explain it to you and why it's so fundamentally important for you to be able to leverage the time of other people, the money of other people, and the knowledge of other people. And by doing so, they're going to help you obtain the goals and dreams that you want to have. And by leveraging my network, I've been able to navigate the real estate landscape more efficiently, more effectively, and I make more informed decisions backed by trusted recommendations from my, my peers. Yeah. How's that for experience? Are you aware that experience breeds confidence? Well, I learned that in the United States Army. I mean, they beat that into my head. They literally did. And that's why I believe it to be true today, because I know it to be true. I know that when I gain experience, I become even more confident in what I'm doing. And having successfully navigated the real estate investing realm, I have developed a level of confidence in my abilities to analyze deals, negotiate contracts, and execute profitable transactions. This confidence allows me to make quicker decisions and to seize opportunities that may be overlooked by inexperienced investors. And it's not that I, I look to do that, but if it happens, so be it. It's not my responsibility to give the other party to the transaction experience. And, and here's the thing. I have honed my instincts and I can trust my judgment, which is an invaluable asset in a very competitive industry. So what I'm getting at is when I go into a real estate deal and I want to buy it, everybody knows that I want to buy it. My broker knows I want to buy it. My broker goes in and, and tells the other party, hey, this is the guy. This is the guy that's going to close on your property. This is the guy that can do everything that you, you want to have done. You need to select this guy over other guys. Yeah. And, and I'm confident in my ability to do everything that I send my broker in to tell the seller or the buyer to do. Because if I've instructed them 
to to say certain things, I stand by it. I 100% stand by it. And another thing I want to share with you about experience is that real estate investing as a whole is not without its challenges. It's not. There, there are things like market fluctuations. There are economic downturns. There's unexpected obstacles that can arise at, at any any turn of the, the hat. I'm serious about that. But through my experience, I have learned to adapt to changing circumstances. I can adjust my strategies. I can find alternative solutions when faced with setbacks. I know how to react when things don't go as planned. I have developed a resilience that allows me to preserve and to bounce back from difficulties, ensuring long-term success in this dynamic industry. So at the end of the day, I think Jimi Hendrix might have gotten it right when he wrote, but first, are you experienced? You have to ask yourself that question. Are you experienced? Do you have any real estate experience? So that's either yes or no. And, and the second question, or have you been experienced? In other words, you may have traveled down this road before. You may have invested in real estate before. You may have had a bad experience with real estate. And as a result of that, you're a little guarded. You're a little guarded about venturing into this terrain again. But I am here to tell you, no matter what experience that you have, Lifestyles Unlimited will assist you with getting the right experience. We will put you into situations where you have no choice but to gain experience. You gain experience through a lot of ways. You gain experience by hanging out with your peer group. You gain experience by going to educational events, talking about real estate. You gain experience going to what we call road trips, where you actually go to a single family or a multifamily property and you walk through the property. You talk about the property. You have members of the team there with you. You have realtors, you have finance people there, you have general contractors, you have home inspectors, whoever you need to have on the team is there. And you're able to draw on all of their experiences as you learn about the property. See, everything that we do at Lifestyles Unlimited is designed to help you increase your experience. And we want you to have good experiences. We want you to have positive experiences. We want your experience in, in real estate investing to be favorable to what it is you're trying to accomplish. Does that make sense? I know that makes sense to you. So at the end of the day, I think it sounds like I'm bragging a little bit when I talk about my experience, but I want you to understand I'm also a humble guy. I really am a humble guy. I know what I know. I also know what I don't know. I also know that I have a lot of experience in many areas, but I'm lacking experience in other areas. Not a problem. That's where I lean on my teammates. That's when I lean on my fellow Lifestyles Unlimited members. That's when I lean on my mentor. And sometimes that's when I lean on the Dell himself. And at the end of the day, I am going to progress through my real estate journey. I am going to continue to increase my net worth. I am going to continue to increase my cash flows. And I'm going to continue working on the lifestyle that I've always wanted. Because I'll tell you, I'm running out of time on this planet. I've been on this planet for 59 years, and I don't know how long I'm going to be here. But I do know this. I'm gaining experience, and I'm going forward. And if you want to do what I'm doing, what the 50,000 members of Lifestyles Unlimited are doing, go to lifestylesunlimited.com, sign up for a free workshop, and let's get you going. The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.